Hello and welcome to Tuesday's English session. So today we are going to do some editing. So um, all of yesterday's English session and Thursday's English session was given to you to write your independent story about one of the other boys' crimes. And we've been really impressed with everybody um, who's emailed us over what you've written so far. So today we're going to take those stories and we're going to do some editing. So what I want you to think about is what things do we usually do to edit or improve your work? Okay, so we're going to have a little look at some of those things and we're going to go step by step so it's not too um, big of a thing to do, first of all. So on your screen, we are going to go on a little um, journey to some different places on our editing station journey, okay? So we're going to start here where we are. We're going to visit Grammar Grove and look at all of our grammar, Spelling Square, Punctuation Point, Add More Avenue and Rewrite Road. And I will explain what we're going to do at each point. But the first thing you need is you need your story either up on your screen, if you typed it up, or in front of you to do some editing today. So the first thing we're going to look at is grammar, okay? On the screen, I can move that one over for you. Um, there are four things that I want you to have a look at first. So you're gonna scan, you're gonna go one by one. So you're gonna start with whichever one you want on the screen. And you're gonna scan through your story looking for only that thing. So, if I was to start with paragraphs, because that's really easy, what you need to do is have a look through. Do your paragraphs make sense? First of all, have you used paragraphs? And also, have you put paragraphs in at the right time? And it tells you on each card, it gives you a bit of information about what each thing should be. So a paragraph is a change of time, change of place, change of person, change of topic. So all for, for that one, all you need to do is scan through, check where you've started your paragraphs. Are they, should they be a new paragraph? Is there a place where you haven't put a paragraph that you should? So you can do two little lines to show it, okay? And then say we're going to look for formality. Scan through your writing. Is it formal enough? Is there bits that are too informal? Is your um, speech formal or informal? That should be a really easy one. We've got your tense. Make sure that you're writing in the same tense all the way through. So you're going scanning through and you're looking for um, tenses. So was, were, past tenses, things like that. And then uh, cohesion just means does it make sense? So have you used conjunctions, connectives to join your sentences? Have you not just said... Uh, Stanley, 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 and have changed it with things like he. And are there a range of sentence openers or does it say he did this, he did that, he went here, okay? So what I want you to do is pause the video and scan through for these four things and then come back when you've done that. Okay, we're still at Grammar Grove, we're still looking at our grammar. But you've got three more things to look at. Now, the layout one should be able to easily um, work. You should just be able to look at it. Does it look like a story? Have you laid it out properly? This one's a bit more relevant for um, nonfiction when you've got headings and things like that. So does it look like a story? Um, then we're looking at sentence structure. Have you used different sentences? Uh, are they all short sentences? Again, have a look at the bullet points because that will help you know what to look for. And then the final thing, check your language. So does it fit um, with the story? Okay, does it make sense? Is, are the words you're using um, appropriate? Have you used any figurative language like metaphors, similes and things like that? Okay, so pause the video now. Have a go at those, checking those three and editing anything that you need to and use the bullet points to help you. Okay, so we should have checked all of our grammar, which is probably the one of the biggest ones. And next we're gonna to go to spelling square. So we're gonna move on to look at our spelling. So for spelling, I want you to look at three things that are on the screen. 
So your homophones, so words that are um, that sound the same but are spelt differently. So you've got your different witches, your different theirs, um, your wares. Um, so have a scan through for any word that's a homophone so that there's a word that sounds exactly the same but is spelt different. Check you use the right one. Um, keywords. So for this one, I want you to have a look. Have you used any five, six spelling words or three, four spelling words? Have you used any of our spellings this week? So key words that we're focusing on. So have you used any spellings? Is there any way that you can use any of them? And then the final thing is ambitious words. So scan through, look for a word that you think isn't very good. Can you improve it? Can you make it better? Okay. So check your spellings of your keywords, words that you know you should be able to spell. Things like there, make sure you're spelling them right. Make sure you're spelling where right. Um, and then look for any words you can improve as well. So pause the video and have a go at fixing your spellings throughout your writing. Okay, so we've done... Um, our grammar, we've done our spelling. So next we're gonna look at punctuation, which is something that I have been emailing back some children that have sent me their stories to say, make sure you don't forget your punctuation because it's really easy to forget when you're at home and you're not um, in school like you normally are. So there's quite a few of these um, for punctuation, but use the um, bullet points because they explain how to use the punctuation if you've forgotten. It tells you how to correctly punctuate. So the first four things I want you to look for is your capital letters, full stops, commas, and your speech punctuation. Again, use the bullet points if you can't remember how to use them. So pause the video and scan through and check for those four things. Okay. Next then, we are going to look at apostrophes. So apostrophes for possession, for contractions. We're going to check that if there's a question being asked, you've put a question in there. If there's an exclamation sentence, you've put an exclamation mark on the end. And parenthesis, remember, is a fancy word for the punctuation in embedded clauses. So have, if you've used an embedded clause, have you put punctuation on either side, whether it's a comma, dashes, um, brackets, okay? So again, read, pause on this screen and read through the bullet points because it tells you how to use them if you're unsure. So pause the video and have a go at those four things in your writing, check through. Okay, and then the final things for punctuation is, and you might not have any of these in here, but maybe you could add them in now. We've got our colon semicolons and hyphens now our colon remember um can replace the word because and there's some bullet points to explain that our semicolon replaces the word and but remember either side has to make sense by itself so if you put a full stop there your sentence would still make sense and hyphens we haven't looked at in school yet but they're like a dash and they join words instead of um instead of where a dash joins sentences, okay? If you haven't used any hyphens, don't worry. But if you have, double check that they're used correctly. So pause the video now and have a look at those final three punctuation bits. Okay, so we've gone from punctuation and now the last two are little bits. So we're gonna go for add more avenue. So, so the first bits we've edited, we've improved. And now we can um, put extra things in, change things to make the writing better. So the first bit is to look at the, the little details of it. This is to make it better. So um, the cutout column. So here I want you to cross out any unwanted words, any unwanted sentences or phrases that you think just don't make sense or it just is, seems a bit waffly, like you're rambling on a little bit. You've repeated something. So you can just cross it out. So any bits that you don't like, that you think rather than improving it and up leveling it, it just would be better if it wasn't in there. And then the extend, um, extended state is to add more detail. So is there a sentence that's quite a simple sentence that you think you could add a bit extra to? 
Could you add a sentence opener onto a sentence that was a simple sentence before? So just add some extra words or phrases to improve and make it better. So pause the video and have a scan through, see if you can do any of these pieces. Okay. And our final stop on our editing journey is rewrite road. And there's only one thing to do for this. Now, I don't want you to rewrite the entire thing. I want you to pick one paragraph that maybe has got the most editing on um, from all the other bits. So maybe it looks a bit more messy now because you've got the most editing on it. But I want you to choose one of them to rewrite. Now, it says on a paragraph strip, which we don't have, but I want you to rewrite it in your book on the next page with all your editing in. So you're sort of publishing it up, but only one paragraph. But for this paragraph, I want you to focus on your handwriting. Make it the most beautiful writing that you have done yet. Make sure your letters are joined. Make sure they begin on the line. Make sure capital letters are capital and lowercase are lowercase. Make sure that all your letters are as similar in size as you can get, okay? If you typed it up on a computer, which I know a few people did, I want you to choose one paragraph and I want you to write it out into your book. So we're practicing our handwriting. We're practicing putting all our editing into one. And that is the final step. So hopefully now you can send us your finished, edited, finalized, the best piece of writing that you've done yet, piece of writing. So well done.